Oh, how the tables have turned, ghosts. I'm gonna get ultra. I'm gonna see a ghost face. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs>the greatest things about Ghostbusters is they took something really scary like ghosts and they conquered it with technology and made it mundane and boring. You know, it was as boring for them to catch a ghost as it was for an exterminator. Oh god! Uh, to catch a, uh, a cockroach. Oh my god. Run, 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 run. Welcome back to a very spooky episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're jumping into Fatal Frame 4 Lunar Mask. Fatal Frame is a famous uh, horror franchise where you have to capture ghosts by stealing their souls with a camera that captures souls. It's kind of actually, it, it sounds, if you never played Fatal Frame before, it sounds a little weird, but I have played. Uh, I mean, I haven't played through, but I've tried Fatal Frames games, and they actually are very spooky. Uh, so I actually am looking forward to this here today. I could use a jump scare, too. Um, we have the opening CGI background story here. I think it's all in Japanese, so it's we're not really going to get much out of this other than uh, impressions. But there's something to do with the serial killer who murdered a bunch of girls. We got to go capture all their souls, Ghostbuster style, something like that. I don't know. Does it really matter? There's going to be ghosts, and Jay's going to scream. So there you go. Uh, lots to look forward to. I I do feel like, by the way, before we get going, um, personally, I find things like ghosts more creepy and scary than zombies. So I feel like there's a natural tendency you might have here to compare this game to Resident Evil. And while Resident Evil definitely had some spooky uh, parts and some jump scares and stuff. Ghosts are just unknown, and I feel like that... Oh, God, what's going to happen? Whoa! <laughs> the unknown I just find more creepy. And I like the idea that in this game you don't have a gun, you don't have... You know, and ghosts are intangible. You can't even fight them if you want. You're kind of helpless in this game, and all you really have is a camera. And in order to capture ghosts, you have to look at them. And I just, I don't know, I feel like that's just a really creepy and fascinating and inventive and cool gameplay mechanic. So, I mean, already this is actually starting to creep me out. So why don't we, why don't we skip past the opening here and hop into the actual game? So I hope it's not all in Japanese. I thought it wasn't. At least the options menus aren't. Let's see what we got going on here under the options. Uh, we'll just leave that as is. Sometimes I like to go in and up the brightness levels of my games, but I'll do that if it's necessary. Let's just assume it's fine. And, uh, let's go in on normal. Why not? I'm feeling brave today for some odd reason. I really shouldn't be, but I'm feeling brave. All right, into the world of Fatal Frame. This game takes place in Japan with native Japanese characters. There has been every effort to translate the game, but please be aware that not only will the characters be speaking in their native language, but the game will contain cultural references. I've never had a video game warn us before that it was ported from Japanese. Back in the early days of the 80s, you know, most of the Nintendo games we played were ported from Japan, and we just went with it, man. Like... Sentences didn't make sense, references didn't make sense, things were utterly bizarre and, and befuddling. But part of the charm, I think, of that early era of video games is just the fact that they they were so foreign. I don't know. I, I've talked about this so much on the channel, but I, I'm going to obviously go back to it once again because I'm a product of my time and I'm a product of the 80s. But when video games first came on the market, man, they were magical. They were magical, mystical, crazy things you know like you go from playing pitfall um to super mario brothers you know obviously mario wasn't the first video game i ever played but it was the first one i played where i was like holy crap japan is a decade ahead of us like i was playing you know like a badly ported atari 2600 pac-man and then the next thing i know i'm playing mario brothers that's insane um this story looks super creepy they're kidnapping and torturing girls and stuff to make ghosts. The ghost factory we got going on here. Um, 
But yeah, so Japan was like a decade ahead. So by the time when you first touched an NES controller and played Mario, it's hard to explain how magical that actually felt because it wasn't just a great video game, but it was something we had never seen before. And uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, now I'm terrified. So I don't know what's what's going on here. These are stairs. Can we just can we straight up exit? <laughs> can we flee the scene? Oh, we can go up the stairs. Uh, there are fresh footprints here, but I can't see anyone above the stairs. Okay, that's terrifying. Where did Misaka go? I can't find her. Okay, so we have to try and uh, find our... Oh, look, here's our run. <laughs> You're not going to outrun bad guys in this. Imagine this is how fast you could run in Resident Evil. Why is she running so slow? You trying not to like mess up her nice pretty dress or something? Oh my god. I really should have affected the brightness. This is like oh god. What's happening here? Misaki. Misaki. <laughs> Misaki, don't make me do this. Okay, do I have a flashlight or anything? Nothing, eh? Oh, there's a creepy mask on the wall. Basic operation, run. Press the Z button to run. Turning, use the nunchuck. You can turn around. Shake the Wiimote to do a 180 degree turn. Okay. I don't like when they add the... the why am I shaking the Wiimote? <laughs> it's just so imprecise. Uh, Give me a button. They talk about being a product of the 80s. When Mario jumps, you press a button. A physical thing that you know you have pressed. When I shake a Wiimote, how long do I shake it? How ferociously do I shake it? It's all ambiguous. I don't like it. Yeah, there is a flashlight though, so I will take this. And I'll stop my belly aching. Yeah, this is going to be a game changer because we'll actually be able to see, uh, see what's going on. Flashlight. I was half expecting there to be someone standing behind me when I stood up actually there. Flashlight is used to examine items in the dark. Okay, control the flashlight by moving the Wiimote in any direction. Okay. Misaki? Misaki, are you in this random Misaki. door? Oh, that doesn't look very good. Okay. Um, oh, the, I was going to say, how do I turn the flashlight on? It is on! This is as bright as it gets. That is not reassuring. Um, so for anyone who's been, you know, if you've been watching my, uh, videos all month, you know that it is, uh, we're getting very, very close to Halloween. It is the scary month. That's why I'm playing, uh, this game today. Well, I've played some of the other games I've played this month. Um, starting tomorrow, I think I just have a nonstop flow of spooky games that we're going to be playing all the way up until Halloween. I say spooky, but you know, we got like, um... Like, what did we play last week in, like, Beetlejuice on the NES? You know, like, scary stuff, guys. But, uh, yeah, I've got some bonus episodes, essentially, um, because we're, you know, in sort of a fun time of year. But, seems to be locked. Saki. We're at a dead end. He may be here. Was that a picture of what I need to find, or is that literally next to the door with Kunihiko Asu Museum written on it, there hangs a guideboard. Please direct input inquiries to the 2F management office. Okay, so I think we gotta go back up the stairs and then hopefully find the key. All these rooms are locked. Okay, we're just gonna head back from whence we came. Hopefully that works. There we go. I, I, we're gonna see a ghost at any moment. I know it. This music. Do you? Could you even call this music? I mean, there's no beat or anything to it. It's just, it's essentially creepy sounds. Oh my god. Oh god. Your sister got turned into a ghost, yo. Time to cut and run. You can always make another sister. Ask your mom and dad. They'll get right on it. Okay, here we go. 
I, I should have brought a gun or something. Now, say what you will about the Americans. They're well prepared for when ghosts break out. They're all packing heat, man. Alright. Show me this ghost. Terrify me! Why are there masks all over the wall up here? This is... Super creepy. Where's this management office as well that I need to get to? Double checking that we haven't missed anything. Oh, what's in this desk? Anything? Nothing. Just a creepy desk. Where are we anyway? You know what? I really didn't pay attention to the intro at all. We were in some kind of like abandoned insane asylum or something like that, I think. Oh, God. Tell you what, when somebody walks through a door and it closes aggressively behind them without their physical interaction, be afraid. I don't know if you want to follow. This is a very uh, diligent sister. No offense to my uh, <laughs> my blood kin, but if I go in a haunted house with you and something crazy happens, I'm an only child, man. I'm running the hell out of there. What just happened? Sounds like I stepped on a bunch of cockroaches or something. Okay. Things, I feel like things got grainier. Did I, did I just travel back in time? Like everything now has sort of a uh, sepia tone. Almost as if the ghosts have applied an Instagram filter to my life. Oh, this looks like a door to the management office. There we go. I like how timid she is for opening all these doors. Her, her timidity. Is that even a word? It's making me feel timid. It's like... <laughs> it's like uh, shaking off onto me. I feel like I'm a 16-year-old Japanese girl, guys. Lost in an, an insane asylum. Working. The game's working on me. Never felt so Japanese and so young. There are many different objects that you can uh, examine while in a room. These objects will react and turn blue when your flashlight illuminates them. Oh. Like what? What turns blue when the flashlight's on it? Like clearly there's something we gotta use in this room like that, no? They wouldn't just tell us that for no reason. What does that say? Examine. On the side of the glass, a stack of nurses' clothing and equipment is piled up. That's terrifying. It's like so simple yet so scary. It's like, this is a room of clothes. And I'm like, I'm terrified. <laughs> Don't let me in there. Oh, there's something. You guys see that? There's something that's blue. It's a ghost key. When the object reacts to your flashlight, you can examine it by reaching out your hand. This is just how picking things up works in the real world. The A button dis uh, icon is displayed when you approach an item. To reach out for the item, press and hold the A button. This will allow you to pick it up. You can retract your hand to stop examining. I just... This seems over-designed, this one element. Okay, we gotta now hold... Aim with our Wiimote. Oh, this is a nightmare. Hold our button, the hand. We're reaching out! We've touched paper! Written on the paper. I left the spare museum key on my desk for you. Please take care to lock the doors when you close for the night, as there are valuable exhibits on display. I don't know why valuable exhibits on display is like two lines down. That's a little odd. We reached out our hand all the way. It was terrifying. I guess we're going to go into this nurse's room now. Or I guess we'll have to go around the other way. Do it? I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of aiming all over the place because of this Wiimote. Wait, what does that say? I have to find the key. So it's somewhere in here. Oh, there's... Like a key. Looks like a key. Oh, oh no, never mind. Okay, no, we're gonna go for... No, 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 no. Oh, oh. Okay, I'll stop. What a weird mechanic. <laughs> like, they're, they're they're building in uh, just, again, timidity. Again, I don't even know if that's a word. They're building in fear, I guess. I don't know. 
Like, imagine there was a button you could have where, like, Mario built up the confidence to jump. And you could let go of that button if you didn't want him to all the way get there and actually jump. Um, anyway, we found the key. I like how finding a key, picking a key up off a desk, took two items, two tutorial pages, and, like, two long button presses. In any other game, you just walk over the key, and it would just end up in your inventory. You wouldn't even have to press a button. Um, anyway, you can open the menu by pressing the minus button on the Wiimote. On the menu screen, you can view the map, use items. Okay. You can open the map by pressing the plus button. Oh, let's check these things out, actually. Oh, there we go. Oh, whoops. Okay, so that's where we are. And... Wait. Where do we... We go up a floor. Zoom. Oh, there we go. Okay, wait. No, this is where we are. That's weird that as soon as the map came up, it went down a floor. I guess it's telling us we got to go back down the way we came. That makes sense. All right, and what's our inventory? What's our inventory status here. Items. An ivy patterned key. A key engraved with an ivy pattern, a small engraving that reads Asu Museum. Okay, we even have a ghost list in there. I feel like I am a, an ill prepared ghostbuster. You know, like I'm coming at it with uh, a lot of enthusiasm, but I'm missing Egon Spengler proton packs. The sort of critical technologies you'd want in a ghost hunting scenario. I feel like I'm missing. And this is terrifying. How would the Ghostbusters fare in a real horror movie, you know? Like, the Ghostbusters are sort of... It's sort of a black comedy, almost. Or not even black. It's a straight-up comedy. Oh, God. What's happening? Time is warping. But, like, if the Ghostbusters were in this scenario right now, I feel like I would be less scared and it would be more funny. And when the ghosts finally eventually showed up, they would just shoot it with their proton pack, you know? What, what, one of the, the greatest things about Ghostbusters is they took something really scary like ghosts and they conquered it with technology and made it mundane and boring. You know, it was as boring for them to catch a ghost as it was for an exterminator. Oh, God! Uh, to catch a, uh, a cockroach. Oh, my God. Run, 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 run. What the hell was that? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My heart's actually racing a little bit. That was a little, that was legit kind of scary. It's like one of those dreams, you know, where you guys have like a dream where like something is following you or you're trying to outrun something and you just can't. Like they make you so feeble. You run so slow, you have no weapons. There's no attack in this game. Everything is so dark. You can't see what the hell's going on. Um, and normally these would all be bad things. You're playing a video game, you know, you, think of it, you know, on paper, this sounds horrible. We're going to make a video game where you run slow, you have no attack, you can't see what's going on. And this sounds like the worst game ever, but it works. Horror games break the mold, man. You need to make them in a fundamentally different way. You know, if, if my character could attack and she could see everything and she had like a health bar and stuff, this would not be scary. The fact that she's so damn vulnerable. I mean, it's scary. Wait, am I going the right way? Uh, let's check our map here. We are. Good. Let's just keep running. <laughs> running. This is like slower than most walks in most other games. Like most walking speeds in other games are faster than this. Right. No ghosts. So far. We're good. Just a lot of creepy masks. This is the Creepy Mask Museum, I guess. They're like, you know what people don't see enough of in this world is creepy masks. You know, the kind of mask that steals your soul and turns your daughter into a, a vicious specter, a banshee to haunt until the end of time. There are not enough uh, museums about those kinds of masks, really. We should have more of them. Oh God, what's gonna happen now? Something is in those shadows. There's not nothing. Go, go, go. Stop looking. That's a little girl. Is it a little girl? What am I looking at? Oh! Ugh. Go. You know, it's, uh... 
completely natural to to do this, but I mean, as if if there really was a ghost like that that can like bend the rules of physics and space and time. Oh god, do you think like a uh, a wooden door is gonna keep it out? It's definitely not. Hiding behind a wooden door isn't gonna do crap when the ghosts come, guys. We need uh we need a Ghostbuster stock containment system in the basement of a converted firehouse. Oh god. Now what? What fresh hell is this? Misaki? Misaki? I think your sister has been killed and is now a ghost. You know, ghosts are sort of like the ultimate. If you can't beat them, join them. You know, because what do ghosts want to do? They want to kill you, right? Um, and what happens when you get killed? Then you become a ghost. So it's sort of like... They're almost like zombies. Ghosts and zombies have a lot in common. Zombies kill you and turn you into zombies. Ghosts kill you and turn you into ghosts. Whoa, we touched a notebook. Kuniko Asso is written on the old notebook. There are shadows that can only be seen by mediums. The thoughts of the dead linger in certain locations. In order to reveal these trails uh, that lead to the spirit world, after many prototypes, the camera obscura was developed. However, it appears to need further improvement. This is the magical camera that deals the soul of ghosts. As a result of my investigations into the Rogetsu Island, I have made use of materials I found here to make a film plate. It is very likely that this will prove useful. In my research, I am now convinced that power exists exceeds my expectation uh blah 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 medium would probably say that i've come close to exorcism my personal experience of this island have been significantly influenced by the arrival of this bold belief okay i do not think this island will need the power of the camera obscure i hope it is necessary all right so there is a ghost hunting camera oh it's literally right there let's just grab this thing real quickly smash the glass Yes. Oh, there we go. Look at this thing. It's ornate and ancient and Victorian and evil looking. This is old camera. This is the camera obscura. That note was talking about. I feel like our first ghost battle is about to ensue. Between the ghost trying to steal my soul and me trying to do the same thing. Oh, how the tables have turned, ghosts. I'm gonna get ultra. I'm gonna see a ghost face. Oh, oh god! Oh god! Holy sh! Oh my god! I just I I panicked and button mashed there. Oh man! The camera obscura caches images of unseen things, which are then sealed inside. When a vengeful spirit appears, you can trap it. Did I do that, or was that automatically in the cutscene? I don't know. I legit panicked and pressed all the buttons. By pushing the B button, you can ready the camera obscure when the camera has reached a ready state. Press the A button to take a picture. Camera is ready if you continue to hold down the Z button when a ghost is in the center of the screen. This is so complicated. Oh god. Hold down the Z. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No. 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 Oh, oh, oh. G get her. Oh god. Oh, that is terrifying. My hands are sweating. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's a scary fight. It's, that is, it's hard to describe. I don't know if it comes across as scary to you guys, but like, literally as the fight is happening, I didn't want to be doing it. it it's a very interesting feeling. You feel trapped. There's nowhere to go. You can't run. I mean, we've seen how fast she runs. She ain't running anywhere, man. And you can only see the ghost through the camera, so if you don't use the camera, you can't see it. It's... Wow. Uh, that, yeah. That, that, that was good. So, the, the name Fatal Frame comes from the fact that uh, you get the most points um, and do the most damage or whatever to ghosts if you capture them right as they're attacking you. The so-called Fatal Frame. Um, and so you can basically sort of one-shot them if you wait for the right moment. Oh man, that, that, uh, oh my god, no, no, no more, no more, please, please no more. No, what's, something behind you. 
Oh god. What are they doing to me? Why am I playing this? <laughs> Why? Oh, the music. Music is really creepy too. Okay. Welcome to Fatal Frame, I guess. That was the prologue. We're not even in the game. We're, that was still the main menu, technically. The moon sees all. Would you like to save? Yes, I'd never want to do that intro again. Not because it was bad, but because literally my heart can't take it. I'm not a young guy anymore, guys. Not the way I used to be. Exit the save menu. There's a time I could play games like this. Now I'm just like... Now I'm thinking of the medical costs that will ensue if I keep playing this game. Save photo to album. Yes. Taking the Wii's memory. Man, look at that. Uh, if you want to edit your photo album, um, let's take a look at that one picture we did take. Oh no. Wait. Ew. To copy a photo. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, look at that creepy, creepy looking photo, man. That is. That is creepy. Okay, we're done now. Dave. All right, we got our we got our photo album. All our happy memories of ghost hunting. Yes, go ahead. Now we can look back on them fondly, remember simpler times. And catching ghosts we were doing just for fun didn't become a a business. Things that no one remembers will become things that no one never existed. That's creepy. I have no memories of my childhood. The island where I lived? Wow, okay. Can we skip this or no? <laughs> You're not even allowed to go home. You must listen to this creepy story. Oh no, there we go, we skipped it. Alright. Out of loon. Or out of, out of tune. <laughs> I can read. You know old gaming J, the semi-literate video game fanatic. Retro gamer. All right, another creepy looking building. I'd like to know who's paying me for my ghost hunting services, because if I'm doing this for free, I'm truly a sucker. Oh my God. All right, good to know we're hunting now um, a, uh, a flock of dead children. This is lovely. Let's just, we run our way through this level. I mean, why do I even try? She walks at a snail's pace. She's changed dresses, though. That's nice. Gotta change outfits when you're in the ghost hunt abyss. Otherwise, what's it all for, am I right? Oh, man. Around any, like, literally my stomach. I feel like there's a pit in my stomach. Around any corner, something's, something's gonna get me. Examine the lantern. You can save your data. Save data can be used to organize photos. In addition to lanterns, the save option will be available clearing each chapter. Okay, so we can save our game. Boom. Oh, wait. Boom. There we go. Saved. Okay, so at least if a ghost kills us, it will be terrifying, but we will just end up back at this lantern. We'll wake up as if hungover from ghost murder. It will be as if nothing ever happened at all. We want to go under the stairs, or okay, that's the only door. Yes, give it a shot. Nothing. I love games that have a series of doors that are all locked or can't be interacted with. All right, let's go upstairs. These big, this big giant staircase, I guess, was a little hint that this is the way we should go. And let's go in. The hallways are divided by an ornate gate. This, there's a memo caught in the gate. Not a gate memo. Something's written on the notebook scrap. It looks like Madoka's writing. Since the silhouette of Rugetsu Island became visible, my heart has been aching. I don't remember anything about when I was on this island, but I feel like I'm suffocating. Just as Masaka said, something must might be on the island. Masaka suddenly said she was going to Rugetsu Island. I came along because I worried about her. I'm afraid... Saka was tricked into going to the island. She wouldn't tell me her reason for going back. Um, okay. 
Masaka was staring at it coldly. If I take my eyes off her, then we'll quickly be separated. Hmm. She's being drawn to this island. Maybe she is a ghost baby. I did say that I can't remember my childhood, right? It is firmly shut. Wait, what did that say about a key? He appears to be missing. Okay, so we gotta find a key. First order of business. In the ghost hunting biz. Find a key. Oh my god, no. <laughs> no! Stop! Creepy ghosts, man. You're gonna kill me. You know how you can die of a broken heart, supposedly? At least if, uh, you know, you're in the Star Wars universe. Well, you can die of a scared heart, too. It's called a heart attack. These things happen, people. The gilt surface bell is peeling off. You're gonna find me... Find me in the morning. Frozen in terror. It's totally gone. Checked out. He didn't make it. We'll say Jay, he tried to play a thousand one games, but he got to the scary ones and they got him. They got him. Alright, let's go down this awkward narrow hallway. Oh good, more mast. Oh god. He opens the door so cautiously. I can't blame her, man. If I was in this scenario, I'd be terrified too. Oh, is this where we just were? Wait. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. This is where we just were. Look at this guy. Portrait of Dr. S.O. So badly damaged, I can't see his face properly. Wait, I thought we were in a totally different building or whatever. But I think... Oh. Wait, what? Oh, wait. Look, there's something over here. I think we're just back from whence we came. Reach out and touch something. Seems to be a newspaper clipping. Talks about a disappearance. Suspicious death of a mass Rugetsu of ma a mass of Rugetsu Islanders. Huh. A bunch of people got killed. Bodies are recovered by the police. Despite the fact that many of the islanders are dead or missing, there's no evidence of an accident or struggle. Oh, that's horrifying. They went they went willingly. One of them cult scenarios. Right? Got an examine thing. What's it want me to examine? Around here. Oh, there's something on the floor. Yes. Ah, the dust is wiped off. So he wrote two notebooks, apparently. Known as the island nearest to the underworld. Ooh, has long been feared. Where times have changed... Once there was some kind of great disaster that destroyed the island, but it had to recover. Instead of disliking an unusual person like me, they introduced me to the valuable cultural Rogetsu ritual and beautiful clouded moon carving. Um, wow, so we're on like basically an island of death. I thought the souls remain even after the body is gone to the other world. That the moon is the doorway to this. Oh, wow. Lots of cool lore here, actually. That's a cool lore. I know we're sort of fast forwarding through some of it, but you know, still. This. Oh, it's the camera. Wait, did I lose the camera? Wait, I thought I had the camera. Now I'm wondering, am I the same girl even? There's a memo underneath. Thinking back to the island, my dizziness has gotten worse. The air doesn't move. It hurts to breathe. It's the scent of this place. Until now, the scent music made me remember things I'd forgotten. Like the time when Ruka uh, let me listen to the song she made. Though I remember some things, they aren't clear. Things like a sense of touch or pain. These words are just too vague. Oh, God, you're a ghost. At least we'll be fine if I wait until Ruka gets here as well. Are we going to have to capture another ghost in the same room? No way. No way. Oh. What? 
She's like, uh, maybe we let this one go. Filament. The indicator on the top of the display is called a ghost filament. It shines to point out the direction where the spiritual energy is. Oh. It will shine red to indicate aggressive and wandering ghosts, and blue to indicate other ghosts. The indicator on the lower right is called the item filament. It will shine blue when in front of an item. Oh. That's handy. Oh, look. Like, maybe there's an item right here. Wait. Yeah, like right here. Okay, well, that was a bus. Go into this creepy door. Oh, are we just locked in? Oh, whoa, what is that? The camera obscure has reacted. Maybe if I take a photo, something will happen. Okay. Taking hint photos. During a stage, if you encounter a strange fog, snap a photo. Taking a picture of the fog will cause something else to appear. That's cool. They should make a movie out of this, man. This is fascinating stuff. Whoa, creepy. Something has appeared. One of those decorative masks. So we got to find one where there's like five. Okay, noted. Thank you, creepy wall that moans and groans as its picture develops. Oh, there's something else on the floor over here. Oh, man. In blue crystals times three. This girl's a bit of a gem fiend. She's also into the gems, as it turns out. Totally... Uh, it total, totally has nothing to do with the ghost thing. It's just into gems. And strengthen the basic abilities of the camera. Go to the menu and upgrade camera. Oh, all right. Let's do it. Uh, items? Crystals. You cannot use them from this menu. Okay, wait. The, where's my camera option? Where, where's my my camera? Oh, here we go. Uh, power, speed, reload, capacity. Oh, okay, we gotta gotta read these. Increases the amount of spirit power absorbed. So how much damage we do? Increases the maximum spirit power. Speed up reloading. Increases the speed at which powers accumulate. We might want that one actually. Increases the maximum power, which can gather from attack. Let's do speed. Do not have enough blue crystals. Wait, I don't? Oh, I need like 10. Oh, I thought the little black circles were like you put three crystals in and you get it. I see. I see. So all we could do is reload, but we don't even have enough crystals for that. Okay. All right, we'll work on that. We'll see if we can find some more of your magic blue crystals. Creepy old camera. We'll play your game. Something in here. Old portraits decorate the walls. The name Kuniko Aso is visible on the right side of the picture. It's probably a person's name. Shit. Try to keep up here, Karen. Hey, can we leave this room yet? Are we good to go now? Oh. <laughs> F me. Why did I ask to leave? I'm almost kind of happy it's so dark, so I don't have to see what's going on. Oh my god. Oh, that's a ghost. Okay, this one might be friendly. It might be friendly. No, 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 no! <laughs> Oh god! Stop! Please! Oh. oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Yo! Okay. Oh, oh she's still alive? Wait. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Where, where, where are you? Oh my god, we're dead. We're dead. We're so dead. Did we get her? 
Holy... Jeez. <laughs> All you do for the boss fights is stand still, listen to creepy, creepy sounds, and have to look around in a panic. And it's this weird, powerless feeling, because you can't run, you can't move, you just have to look around, and they're slowly walking towards you when you see them. It is... It is next level scary. This is actually very fun. This is honestly, I think, um, you know, like I've played many, many games over the years. I wouldn't necessarily say this is like, you know, oh, my, my favorite third person or first person shooter or anything like that. Or I wouldn't even necessarily even say that um, over the long term, I would prefer this over Resident Evil. I might prefer like the early Resident Evils still. But I think in terms of scariness, I don't, I can't think of another game that has made me this scared. This is pretty cool, actually. I'm, I'm quite impressed by the fear that they managed to capture here. And I will say, too, that uh, I did read that one of the things the developers wanted to capture was fear. That was the main thing they were going for in this game. And I think, bravo, well done. Um... And by the way, I don't mean to imply that I definitely like Resident Evil more than this. I don't know if I do or not. I, I think I'd have to sit with it. But I mean, like, in the moment right now, I think this feels like much more immersive, scary gameplay than I think Resident Evil did. Uh, but I mean, the first time I played Resident Evil, it was, it was you know, it was a crazy experience. It was its own thing. I don't want to, you know, downplay that game. But at, in, in the moment, I feel like I'm definitely more interested in playing more of this. You know, but wow. Okay, so here's our plan. We're going to try and find these... Oh, God, look at these effing masks. We're going to try and find this this fifth mask, but we basically have one more ghost fight in us, I think. Um, I think that's where we will cut it for today. So we're going to keep going a little further. Oh, my God. And that's an evil ghost because we see the red. Well, let's save this. I did just say we'd fight one more ghost, and then, <laughs> for my own, uh, sanity, we should wrap up. But I mean, also because, you know, we've been playing this for, uh, for a little while now. It adds up. But, all right, let's, let's go give one more ghost. What for? Oh, my God. I'm terrified. I am terrified. Oh, look at this. There's, like, a wall of photos. There seem to be old Polaroid photos arranged on the bulletin board, but they're all empty. All the photos are faded. It's impossible to know what they were taken of. Honestly, this should be a movie. Um, I like horror movies. Um, occasionally, a horror movie will creep me out. Uh, and I like... It's sort of like going on a roller coaster. Like, I enjoy the experience and the thrill. As far as video games, as I say, like, I can't think of too many games that have, like, legit spooked me. Um, video games, you just feel like you're more in control, more powerful. You don't typically get spooked. I guess Amnesia, uh, is it called Amnesia The Dark Descent? Or just the game Amnesia. That was another game where you were totally powerless. And you were being stalked in, like, a creepy old mansion. And that game was actually pretty scary. So, um, I guess besides this and Amnesia, I can't think off the top of my head of too many other games that have spooked me. But, man... This game delivers. Oh my god, I'm freaked. Okay, there's a couple of things to get here. Oh, there's uh, something we can get on the piano. See what this is. A memory of playing the piano. Scraps of a note have been placed on the piano. Madoka wrote this. If I just write something, anything is good. But if I don't write anything, it will just go away. If I don't write, I forget. If I don't write, it's all over. I forget what, but it's coming to an end. It's coming close to this. This is... Creepy man. Oh god, what was that? It's almost creepier that there is no music. Like, I, I don't think we've heard any music in this game so far, besides maybe in the cutscene where she actually played the piano. But uh there's even with the ghost attack, I wouldn't call it music so much as like sound effects. Um ooh, a blast lens. By gripping a power-up lens on the camera, you can inflict many harmful effects on ghosts in your menu. I love how it's sort of like semi-Japanese, the translation. You can inflict many harmful attacks on the ghosts. Definitely not how you'd say it in, uh, you know, English, but 
I mean, it is in English, but you guys know what I mean. It was translated from a different sentence structure. Uh, go to the camera obscure selection and then select the power up lens. Use the lens, press the C button once. S uh, what? A C button? Oh, son of a bitch. There's a C button on the night. I did. Uh, this is how much of not a Wii guy I am. I'm looking at my two Wiimotes in my hand. I have the nunchuck and the Wiimote. I'm looking around. I'm like, I see an A, a 1, a 2, a 3, a plus, a minus. I know there's a Z. I turn around the, the nunchuck. I'm like, son of a bitch. There's a C button. Press the C button once you've accumulated enough power. Power is gained during a fight. You can use the lens you have equipped. So now we have like a special attack. That's cool. It's cool how they're able to make you feel so vulnerable and yet also give you attacks and items and stuff to upgrade, so... Uh, that is... That is interesting. So... Boom. Boost damage of a single shot by a small amount. Yes! <laughs> the ghosts don't stand a chance now! You know, when I bent down under the piano to pick this up, I half expected when I stood up something to be behind me. Frankly, I'm disappointed that they, uh, they didn't have a jump scare there. Oh my god, no. <laughs> the second I say I'm disappointed they didn't scare me, they start to freak me out. Oh man, it's remarkable how creepy a dark, well-made environment can be with like a little, little bit of creepy sound effects, you know? Holding this item will fully restore one's health if it reaches zero. Oh, that's good. We have an extra life. Told you she's she's a gem hound. She's really into gems. Oh my god. Even the footsteps sound like ominous. And they're her footsteps. I don't like them though. Keep going this way. We open this door. We just get the hell out of here. There's gonna be a ghost fight in here, I know it. The ghost is Teasing us now, toying with us. Oh, there's something. What do we got going on here? Use this item in the item window to regain some health. Oh, I didn't even know we had a health bar, frankly. I thought the ghosts bite us and we just turn into zombies right away or whatever happens. Werewolves. I don't know. I don't know what the process is for ghostification. Didn't realize we actually had health. That's a good thing. There was something over here. There it is. What we got going on? What is it? It's a photo of me in a coffin. Oh, it's a moon key. Oh, that's good. Oh, we got a key for... Oh, oh good. For under the stairs. Exactly where I wanted to go. There's a board with something printed on it. Entrance to the 2F gates. Instructions on opening. First, switch on the control panel in the storeroom under the large staircase. Secondly, the big door opens with the number... The number B. Or is that 13? I don't think B is a number, guys. Hey, you know what? I, I, I can forgive some translation errors, but... You know, we gotta draw a line somewhere. Come on. Tecmo, hire proper translation team here. Jeez. Take the note to operate it. Actually, I joke. I, I'm, I, as I said, you know, the first video games I ever played, you know, well, I played Atari and stuff, but the first ones that blew me away were like Nintendo and Mario and stuff. And it wasn't just that they felt so technologically advanced, but the fact that they felt Japanese. So they felt magical and awesome because of how advanced they were, but then also like foreign and like just sort of somewhat alien because they sort of had the Japanese culture mixed into them. Oh my God, no. Um, oh, oh, wait, what? What? Was that a good ghost? Wait, what? Um, but long story short, I like the poorly translated Japanese. I, there's something, there's something so video game about ja Japanese culture. You know, Nintendo really, really helped define gaming, uh, frankly. Whether you've ever played Nintendo or not, Modern video games owe a lot to uh, Nintendo. You know, what, whatever you think of their modern consoles. I mean, I've ragged on Nintendo. I'm not a huge fan of, like, you know, the Wii or the Switch or anything like that. They they haven't been my favorite consoles. But nonetheless, you got to give props where props is due. Um, 
And so, there, to me, in my mind, there's something there's something about the Japanese culture that's tangled up in video games where, like, when a game feels Japanesey, I'm like, this is just right. Like, game should feel a little Japanesey. Not every game, but it's like, it it doesn't feel out of place. It would be different if it was like, if there was a bit of Italian culture or German culture or like, you know, I don't know, Pakistani culture or whatever culture mixed into a video game, I'd be like, that's a little weird. You know, that would just stand out to me as odd. Uh, not because there's anything wrong with people in those countries making their own games, but just it's just not what a video game... Oh, there's the masks. Meant to me uh, when I first experienced them. Um, oh god, one is missing. But Japanese culture... 100% Japanese culture should be all mixed up and mangled with video games. It just feels right. Uh, masks hang on the wall. Something similar appears in the photo. One is missing. Oh my god, no. No. Little little ghost child. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, what? 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 Oh, god, where are you? None of a bitch. Where are you, kid? Oh god, I'm gonna get killed, aren't I? You know what, if I died, this would be a fitting end. It'd be a very fitting end. He went somewhere over here. Oh god. Hello? The evil ghost child wants to kill me. Run around a little. Okay, so it. Oh, over that way is where we gotta go now. Okay. The filament thing actually really does help you figure out where to go without, like, giving the whole game away. You know, without having, like, a. Uh, an, an, a HUD and having, like, nav points and stuff. That'd be actually pretty funny. You know, it'd be funny is to remake this game with, like, the Halo engine. So it's, like, the same environments and enemies and stuff. You're playing as, like, Master Chief and you have, like, machine guns and stuff and you have, like, a heads up display. That'd be pretty funny. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, it's a blue crystal. Hey, we can upgrade. Uh, equip. Okay, we have nine. Probably not gonna live long enough to see any more, so I guess we'll just do reload. Speeds up the film reloading time. Boom. Level her up. Level one. Never in my life have I upgraded a camera like that. I haven't even owned a camera since like the early 2000s. I remember like in those early days you go to parties and uh, people would bring digital cameras. Some people had like a digital camera that they just brought to parties and you snap a bunch of photos. It was super fun. We are like, whoa, like imagine our parents day when like you actually had to like develop film and stuff. It was crazy. Nowadays, like nobody even owns a digital camera. It's just all in your pocket, man, on your, your phone. People don't, you know what, in my day a phone was used to make phone calls. I feel like I don't even use my phone to make phone calls anymore. You know, I'm using my phone to like, surf the web and check my email, take photos, all this stuff. It's a projector. I could use this to play a film reel. Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to go now. I feel like I thought we were right near a ghost fight with a little evil ghost child. And now I'm like lost so let's try this let's try and leave the room maybe it's time to leave and uh I feel like now that we got that key for the stairs I kind of want to try it so we've combed over this room a handful of times time to go Oh, it totally is time to go. I called it. I thought that shadow was a ghost child. It's nothing. Oh, God. Hey, I remember this desk drawer being open. Why are there all these, like, photos? That is so creepy. See, I feel like I would like to know more about this game. Like, this is why I feel like I would like a movie. With a game, you gotta play your way through it. I mean, you could watch a Let's Play, like what you people are doing. I guess I could do that. But, uh... I mean, even with a Let's Play... I mean, let's be honest. Games are made for gameplay. Even even the best story in a game 
is still secondary to its gameplay. And so I think all I'm saying here is that, I mean, I, you know, if I had if I had the time of my youth that I used to have when I was a young, young whippersnapper, I would probably play this game all the way through because it's pretty creepy and I'm enjoying it. Um, but since as an adult, I got responsibilities and a job and all that stupid crap. Um, what I would like is a nice two-hour experience that summed up the entire lore and story behind this. Or even a miniseries. Give me like an eight-episode Netflix miniseries on this. Creep me the hell out, you know, for several nights in a row. That's fine. Um, but basically I think the atmosphere and the, the bit of lore that we've been able to just peek at and the environment and everything is just so well suited. It's just, it's just so interesting. Like you could easily make this into a series. Um, okay, a little bit further. Okay, let's go. These hallways with like the uh, windows and the, the drapes blowing in the wind and stuff are kind of creepy. I mean, <laughs> goes without saying, I, we're playing this game like, you know what? This, this little part of the environment here, I don't know if you guys have noticed yet. It's a little unsettling. I'm the master of observation, guys. You will come to learn this. Okay, let me check my map again. Yeah, we're going the right way. My, my hands are getting preemptively sweaty now. There's something here. See this? The blue thing is lighting up. Oh, look, here we go. This filament system is actually like pretty fascinating. Okay, get the thing. Picked up a type 14 film. Higher type of film you can use to shoot ghosts, the greater damage you'll inflict. Oh. Okay, so we have different... So, wait, some comp companies out there are making ghost hunting film, and there's like different qualities of it? It's odd. Look, there's two things here. How do we miss all this stuff? A pamphlet. Once every ten years. There's a dance. The biggest ritual is performed. The highlight of the festival is held at the Lunar Eclipse Hall. Oh, did everyone get sucked into the underworld or something? Everyone they, they did a dance they didn't realize was a supernatural... Uh, you know... Supernatural thing that... Summoned the underworld? Oh god, no. Nothing creepy about that. Well, guys, I hope you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're ready. you've uh, been enjoying being terrified today. This is exactly what you were hoping to get, right? Mild heart attack on, uh... Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah, just, just full-on have a body mummified in the corner. Yeah, go ahead, do that to me. Oh, you bastards. You developers, you knew what you were doing. What is this? The newspaper. Mysterious disappearance. Two weeks have passed since the investigation. The islanders' whereabouts are still unknown. The group disappeared on Rogetsu Island during the summer. And even from the start, there were fears the search would be discontinued. The islanders' cause of death is still unknown. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Wait, what? Did that thing just move? No. 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 Where's the stupid... Lever. Okay, we have to... Wait. I can't even see what I'm doing here. Is, are these stairs? This is old furniture. Oh my god, no. Like, wh what am I looking at? That's a bird. Oh, let's see the map real quick. I think I'm just in a tiny room. Yeah. Okay, I have to find... kind of lever or something to push. Old furniture. Okay, let's... Oh, this thing right here. The electrical panel. Um, there's a control panel with a row of numbered switches. Okay. We need switch B. Um, maybe it is 13. Oh, is this like a little puzzle? Interesting. So how does this work? Oh, there's a one. One zero. 
one eight. How does this work? I I don't understand. I'm just gonna flick things until eventually we get this to work. Oh, <laughs> what? Well, all right. Well, I'm a genius. There you go. It opens the creepy gates. Frankly, I thought the under the stairs was gonna be a whole basement level that we have to explore and stuff. Okay, what is this? Something wrapped in cloth is leaning against the wall. The object looks like it might contain the torso of a person. Well, we found one missing villager. Let's get the hell out of here before more show up. Okay. So far, so good. Probably save our game. In case the worst happens. It almost certainly will. Here we go. Saving is finished. Okay. Get up these creepy stairs. What's our... What was our end game again? We're trying... What the... Oh my god, the phone's ringing. Oh my god. Oh god, that's creepy. Creepy. Oh, it's coming through my Wiimote. Okay, that's horrifying. That is scary. <laughs> well, look, we can play some old creepy music potentially. Oh no, we can't. On the gramophone or whatever. Here's my creepy phone call story. Once I was on a road trip with some friends and uh, we were driving to Florida. It's like a 36 hour drive. So we were just like drive into the night. We were young and care. And uh, oh my God, there's, there's ghosts. Okay, they went away. Um, it was like the middle of the night. We didn't want to drive anymore, so we just pulled over on the side of the road and found a random motel, checked in, went into our room, and as soon as we got into our room, the phone started to ring, and we were like, what the hell? Like, nobody knows we're here. It's the middle of the night. Who could be calling? It was actually terrifying, and then we answered the phone. It was the manager who just checked us in. He was like, hey, I just want to let you know, blah, 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 blah. Like, <laughs> Dude, we thought you were a ghost. Just the proprietor. So there you go, people. Maybe the same thing was happening. You know, maybe it seemed like a creepy beyond the, the grave phone call, but it was really like Verizon asking her to give back her cell phone because, you know, her her deal had ended. You know, maybe that's what it was. Oh, what the? What? No. I heard a door open. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Or it locked? Oh, God, no. <laughs> Never have I played a video game where as you get into each new area, I'm like, no, I wish this was not a new area. Look how creepy this hall is with these, these curtains rustling in the wind. Whoa, oh, 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 sh no, 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 no. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, okay, there are some good ghosts. This is actually diffusing a bit of the tension. There are a few good ghosts. Okay, they're not all bad. They're not all bad. Reach out and touch the glowing orb. Looks like a piece of notebook. It seems like Madoko wrote it. When I look at my face, I don't understand what it's becoming. I don't know my own face. My face... Know my face. Two people in the same... Oh gosh, she's possessed. She's become possessed. Oh, F me. Creepy little child there. Can we kill him? <laughs> Can we steal his soul? Okay. Try going in this door. It's in the opposite direction of the creepy child. No. That one has a rose on it, too. Okay. 
item can be used to regain health. We have a lot of health items, actually. Frankly. They keep just giving us health. It's almost as if we're about to need them. We're about to have the fight of our life. Okay, I don't like this camera angle. Oh, what are you doing? What's going to be in here? Room is cluttered with things that have been collected from elsewhere. What is this? It's like so creepy. It's like you're picking up a rock. And it's like the creepiest sound effect and stuff as you're doing it. Hey, look at that. A light. Yeah, I thought there'd be more ghost fights in this, frankly. What was it, like 20 minutes ago? I was like, our next fight will be our last one. Diary full of scribbles. Okay, we're gonna start... Oh, that seemed important, actually. Yeah, hold on, let's check our notes. Uh, files. Um... There was... Boy's Diary. Today I found it again. This time it happened to be in the dining room. They can't take it away. Um, I hid the mask well under the bed. Oh, that's a good hint. Turns out reading things can be very helpful. Doll parts and medicine. Oh, good. I'm terrifying about that. All right, we're going to take our mask. Oh! Fucking ghost boy! Oh shoot, are we fighting you? No, no, no! Oh, I can't aim at him! The room out! No! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, oh that's what happens when they get you. Okay, it's not so bad. Aim! We moat! We moat! I can't aim the we moat! It's not going! God damn it, no! <laughs> this is so horrifying. Where are you, kid? Where are you? Aim at them! Get him! Yeah! You got busted, kid. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, f get the camera up. Where is he? Oh, yeah, you're done, boy. You're done. You ain't nothing. I'm gonna wait for the opportune shot. Oh, that was... Oh, that's creepy. Oh, we got a fatal frame. Let's see you hunt the ghost boy. No. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. All right, we got this. He ain't so tough. Boom! God, those are terrifying... ...images. Boom, we'll take another one, back to back. Oh god, no, 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 no! Where is he? We got him. Boom, let's just... Put him out of his misery, Jesus. He's still around, eh? This this fight is actually lasting quite a while. There he is. You're done, boy. Special kill. We got a fatal frame in there. Woo! <laughs> Well, we've killed a small child. I don't think we can end on a much higher note than that. They don't return it soon. I'll disappear fast. Who was it? Give it back. Give it back. Give it back. Well, we stole the mask of a little boy. We sent him to purgatory and or hell. Bill and Ted style. Uh, you know, they get exercised in the second one. They end up in hell. Um, I'm sure it'll be all fine for that little boy. I'm sure we did the right thing. Let's just rummage through the remainder of his belongings as we wrap up our final thoughts on Fatal Frame 4 here. Fatal Frame 4, one of the games in the book, a thousand video games you play before you die. If your heart can take it, I 100% recommend it. If you're looking for a spooky, uh, game, uh, oh, there's the mask. There it is. An old mask. We're straight up gonna take it. The mask is similar to ones in the dining room. There we go. Um, yeah, it's... The, I'd say... The, so this is sort of a puzzle horror game. It's uh, light on the puzzle elements. 
It's big on the atmosphere, big on the creeps. I think probably if you play this a lot, the more you play it, maybe the less creepy the ghost fights get, but I would not put it past them to have many tricks up their sleeves to like keep things fresh, keep things scary. So um, honestly, I mean, I like the idea of ghosts. I think they're creepy and cool and uh, I like in the same I like watching horror movies in the same way I like going on a roller coaster. Um, it's sort of thrilling and fun. And yeah, I got spooked. I, I got like, don't think I'm acting. I get legit spooked a handful of times playing this. I would have been spooked recording or no. Um, and so I feel like this, you know, they, they, you know, they set out to make a game that captured fear and they did it, man. You know, like this, this is, this is well done. You know, I have to tip my hat to them. Um, I do remember playing other Fatal Frames. I remember them being spooky too, but I haven't played them in like honestly decades. This is the first one I've played in forever and I really enjoyed it. Um, it's one of the games that I think I've enjoyed the most on the Wii, uh, on the, the Wii console, I, I think, um, of all the games we've ever played. Um, oh, wait, what the? What the? What the? Oh, oh, oh no! No! Okay, we're ending on another fight. Another fight has just ensued. Okay. No. 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 Okay. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Wait, where is she? Oh, God. No. 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 Oh, she's eating my soul. Oh, God, guys. Save yourselves. I'm running. This is Gaming J signing off. Tell me if you like this game in the comments down below. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, help me. I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh, God. Ah! Oh, I'm dying. I'm shaking my wheel. Why would she get off me? Oh, my God. You know, in some ways, that is the most relieving game over screen I think I've ever seen. Oh, God. Never felt so Japanese and so young.